Why Shanks lost his arm. We all know that Shanks lost his arm to save Luffy's life. We also know that, given how strong Shanks was at that point that it doesn't really make sense. We even saw Luffy knocking the Sam Sea King out with just a punch at the beginning of the story, when he was still relatively weak, and I doubt that at that point he was stronger than Shanks was when he saved him. It is also known that Oda didn't plan it like that in the beginning but his editor told him to make it more interesting, so he did what he did. It made the scene more impactful. However it created a plot hole. There are many theories as to why, the most popular being that he sacrificed his arm to teach Luffy a lesson, but that seems just radical and illogical. At least to me. So I was thinking, what could Oda do to make Shanks losing his arm make sense given how strong he actually is? And while I was looking over the scene in the anime and the manga something hit me. We never saw Shanks swim to Luffy. We only saw him the moment after the Sea King bit his arm off, holding Luffy. So here is my theory. What if Shanks actually had a devil fruit power and couldn't swim? What if he saw the Sea King attacking Luffy and made a split-second decision? What if he used his conqueror's haki to somehow push the devil into his right arm and let the Sea King chop it off, losing his DF power but regaining the ability to swim? We still don't know the full capabilities of Kohaki so it might be possible, since we know that Haki can interact with DF powers. You might say why didn't he just use Kohaki from the shore or used a Zoro, Mohawk style flying sword slash to kill the monster. Well, Luffy just ate his devil fruit and he would have drowned her if he did only that. You might ask. In that case, why didn't someone else save Luffy? A plausible answer would be that Shanks and his crew split up to look for Luffy and Shanks was alone when he saw him. That's my theory. What are your thoughts? Smiley face.